All right, Shalom. Shalom. All right, uh, we're the brothers here out of Great Millstone, Atlanta. This is Gamali Allah. I'm the brother Yadai. All right, and uh, first and foremost, we're giving all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to all the Akim that are pushing out this truth and sincerity, all right? And uh, this is uh, coming, at, coming at you with a quick uh, GMS Godspeed lesson. All right, and um, hey, this is going to be centered around uh, women. All right, and uh, women being in their right mind, and us having an increase of women here in these last days, man. You know, because uh, you know, right now, of course, our women are through, which we always constantly, um, you know, bring out is the the current condition of our women and how they're low as hell. But hey, our women are gonna be, uh, uh, you know, brought back into into their proper role under the man. Okay. Uh, matter of fact, uh, what's that in Isaiah? Um, a woman shall be a woman shall be castle man. Uh, because Isaiah, what? Uh, fights for a long time. Okay. Okay, kind. Okay, yeah, but, uh, you know, basically going into these last days, man, you know, women are, are going to, our women are going to get back in order, man. You know, and, uh, and they're going to cling to a man of the, uh, they're going to cling to men, but, 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 more, uh, more importantly, they're gonna cling to a, a man of the Lord. Right. Okay, because you're gonna have regular Jakes. That's that that you know you're gonna have uh, regular so-called tough Jakes that are gonna have you know uh, women following them just because they're a man. You know, but how much more a man of the Lord? A man that has understanding. That's moving in Isaiah 33 and 6. All right. That's moving with the protection and the, and the spirit of the Lord. All right. How much more a man like that? You know, you got it. This is uh, Jeremiah 31 and 22. Mm -hmm. How long wilt thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter? For the Lord, Yahweh, now Shai, have created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man. Yeah, so, you know, making the point that in this kingdom of America, okay, the woman has, has compassed a man. Basically, you know, she, she gets more uh, uh, rights, okay? Uh, uh, so-called black woman was was bragging about uh, getting Biden in office, you know. So so they have they have a, a, a high level in this in this kingdom, man. You know, Eve, like like brothers are going into Eve and Satan, man. You know, basically how they how they you know basically are both going hand in hand at at destroying this this earth, man. You know, but it's getting ready to be flipped around. Uh, it's, it's a little bit more on there. Uh, Jeremiah 31 and 23. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Shemiah shall have hosts the power of Israel, as yet they shall use this speech in the land of Judah and in the cities thereof. When I shall bring again their captivity, the Lord Yahweh Shemiah shall bless thee, O habitation of justice and mountain of holiness. Oh, you got it. Just, yeah, come, come. And um, see, through the spirit of prophecy and the word, you know what I'm saying? We understand these things, you know, and. You know, um, the kingdom of heaven, not, uh, I mean, it's like the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahusha, not dwelling in uh, te uh, temples built by the hands of men. The spirit dwells within men right now. You know what I'm saying? So, we, Yahweh Hashem Yahusha, through the Holy Spirit, has given us the understanding, you know, beginning with this, uh, this uh, uh, 144,000, 12,000 on each tribe, low willingly in that number, to bring out the fullness of understanding, including, um, the, 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 the fall of, of us as men, you see what I'm saying? Because even growing up in the world, you don't really understand what it really means to be a man. Right. Because really, you have to you become a man after you've made and made a fashioned to a new creation through the spirit. Right. So right. really, you have no real understanding of true manhood. And true manhood is yeah. being integral and doing what we know to be right, which is the understanding that we get through the scriptures. You see what I'm saying? Um, there was anyone there. Yeah, yeah, like you said, you know, a, a real no man, point. a real man is a servant of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know, that's keeping the law. Of visibility. These, these uh, guys, these men, uh, so-called men walking around, you know, they're they're males, but they ain't men. Right? Yeah. You know, mm. and and you know we're we're learning. You know, we 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 can't even say that we're 100 percent real men because we're still learning. You know how to be men, but in the kingdom we're gonna be, we're gonna have it 100. percent You know. Yeah. That was 
yeah, Con. Uh, I get this Isaiah four and one. Okay, Con. Isaiah four and one. In that and in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, "We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach." And if I can say, me and the brother spoke very briefly before we um, began the lesson, and they're just you know speaking and talking in the spirit. We believe that Isaiah four and one has already begun. You see what I'm saying? Because it makes perfect sense. There's no way that the Heavenly Father through his prophecies are bring, is bringing this society down at this magnitude and at this speed. And these type of prophecies aren't coming to pass. Yeah. Even uh, you got certain songs like uh, Scissor, you know, did that song. I think yeah, yeah. Saturday, uh, yeah. what should say? Uh, uh, basically, basically, yeah, like like I'm his girl on Saturday. Okay. Yeah. Pretty much, pretty much, you know what I'm saying? You With know, it. You know, pretty much, you know, going into being uh, them side chicks. Yeah, yeah. But even with that, even with that, like we were saying, through the spirit, we understand that really it ain't no side chick. You know, unless you a concubine. Yeah. But you know, if you were a, a, a woman of Israel, then we have to deal with you accordingly. You know what I'm saying? As long as long as you don't take away from what we're doing and pushing the gospel, you know, and uh, serving your by from now shot, we have to uh, uh, we have we have a duty and responsibility to to deal with you as a wife. You know, as as a, a, a rib, so to speak. You know, if you prove yourself worthy of that, right? You know what I'm saying. And, and what goes along with that, you know, just like I, I got that precept on deck too. Just like Israel as a people, we were likened to a a, 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 a woman. You know, so Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai dealt with us in a certain manner to get our minds right, in which as a people he likens us into a woman, man. Yeah. So we understand, you know, what goes along the process, and really what goes along the process of taking on a woman as a man is really got to humble her first. There's, right. there, there, there's a, a period of uh, humbleness and, or, 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 and humiliation, so to speak, because that's things are all, all jacked up, man. You ain't supposed to be out here dealing with multiple men. You got all these spirits that, you know, on you, and you know this man dealt with you this way, this man dealt with you that way. None of it was really according to the spirit, yeah. unless you dealt with a man, you know, a man in, in the truth. And then even then, like saying certain situations in the ancient world, you know, if a, if a um, if a woman's husband passed away or died. What are you supposed to do? You're supposed to give him to a, a, a brother, man, to his brother, his, his blood brother, so you can continue that that uh, um, that family's lineage. You see what I'm saying? But stuff is just done all crazy out here nowadays, and that's why us understanding the way that things are really supposed to be, like the brother said, we still grow to understand as well, but we understand certain basic fundamentals and, and, and how a man should deal with a woman, and really what we as men should expect from our women. That's right. Yeah, and uh, yeah, like you said, you made a good point, which is that See, prophecy is not just gonna happen. Prophecy doesn't always happen just just at the at the you know drop of a uh, of a, the drop of a dime. Like oh, you know, women just gonna magically you know as uh, uh, soon as all hell breaks loose, women just gonna start you know. No, it, it begins. It's it's the Lord is a gradual list as well. So the Lord is gonna you know put you know give uh, certain men you know. Uh, uh, Women, you know, plural, women, plural, you know, and people got demons on them, right. but, but, uh, you know, the Lord is going to start, you know, sending, sending, sending different women your way, you know, to, and, and also to see how you deal with them as well, you know, because ultimately, and, and oh, and, uh, Paul said it best, though, though you have a wife, though you have uh, a wife, be as though you have none, okay? Yeah, the Lord will send us women, but our focus should, should still be this. That's right. And you know what? A woman loves a focused man. Mm -hmm. You know, as long as we're focused on this, everything else is is, is gonna is is a uh, addition to us, man. Mm -hmm. You know, but it has to be this. This has to be the focus, and how about Shemuel Shah will give the increase. Mm -hmm. You know, but if I can say too, mm -hmm. just to uh, land back off the brother's point about a woman loving a focused man, that's true. But also understand that Satan loves to channel spirits right. through women. Yep. Mm -hmm. Women also love throwing a man off his focus. That's true. Yeah. Yep. You see what I'm saying? Like, like, like brother said, it's absolutely 100 percent correct. But there's different sides That's to the this balance thing. Of there's it. different sides to this thing, man. You know what I'm saying? And and really, as a man, you have to have the strongest spirit. You know, scripture speak about honoring the woman as a weaker vessel. Yep. You have to know, like, listen, man, we can play these games. You know, you know, you know, for this period of time. Yeah. But when shit get real. She has to know that shit gets real, man. The scriptures yeah. also tell us to remember Lot's wife. Mm -hmm. When Yahweh was shot, destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, and, and uh, Lot's wife turned back, I turned to a pillar of salt. 
a lot can look back. Mm -hmm. You gotta keep it moving, keep it pushing, man. Because we also understand that Yahweh Bashi Al is the one that he gives. He's the one to uh, uh, take it away. Shoot, it's, it's we've all had experiences, or, or I would say all, many of us have experiences, especially coming in truth, into the truth, but women leaving. So right. really early, early in the game, so to speak, Yahweh Bashi Al Shah already get you hip, uh, hip on game that yo, a woman, a woman's mind and spirit is can be very fickle. Well, she'll she'll leave you at the drop of a dime. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And we know that. Yep. You know what I'm saying? We know that and we consider those things yep. and how we move. You know, and the thing about it too is if a woman is to leave you and leave us, I would greatly prefer that she leaves me because of my integrity and my belief in the Holy Scriptures. That's, That's right. it. That's it. That's right. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, what, what that was it. Okay. Uh, I could just tell you. Uh, this is um this is uh first Timothy two and I start at verse I start at verse eight. First Timothy two and eight. I will there I will therefore that men pray everywhere, lifting up holy hands without wrath and doubting. That's a part of it too. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, we here, you know, at Great Millstone, we are men of understanding, okay? And we understand things. That's why I'm gonna say me personally, you know, when I deal with uh, you know, with the woman, you know, I'm not gonna fight every battle. You know what I'm saying? Because really it's not worth my energy. You see what I'm saying? But if there's certain stickler points that I know there needs to be a point nail home, I'm gonna nail that point home, man. And that's a part of understanding. That's be, and we understand that through the spirit, you know? Um, because you need you you have it's up to you to run your household. You are the head of the household. Right. You know? Mm -hmm. Um, first Timothy two and nine. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel with shamefacedness and sobriety. I'm gonna stop right there. So yeah. women, so um, and women, so just like in like manner, so in the like manner that uh, the scriptures, that the scriptures, whatever, man. I ain't saying whatever. The bitch was saying whatever. The yeah, spirit, yeah. Uh, spirit uh, is, is turned up, man. I'm gonna reread re -re this. Um, First Timothy two and nine. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel with shamefacedness and sobriety. So like I said, in like manner mean in the previous precept there was instructions for men to do. You see what I'm saying? And one of those and one of those instructions was to not doubt. You see what I'm saying? And that's and that's the beauty of having understanding of the scriptures. You can deal with a woman just like in the spirit, like boom, boom, this is it. You can feel how you want to feel about it. I know this is right and this is true because the, the scriptures don't, your your actions do, do or do not align up with the scriptures, man. You see what I'm saying? Right. And they go into that shame facedness and she has to ex accept that because uh, wicked and evil came into the world through who? Through Eve. Uh, yeah. which, which that spirit is coming back. Woman being shame faced and, you know, being uh, under 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 the authority of a man, man. Well, there, uh, there's a, a, a term a patriarchal society. The patriarchy is coming back in a major way. And now, patriarchy basically is where uh, uh, it, it's a male-dominated uh, system. All right, and like that, like that saying goes, "This is a male. This is a man's world." Mm -hmm. So that's coming back right now. This is this is you know in America we just read a woman shall compass a man. So this is a woman's world. A woman has has power. You know, in terms of. Uh, uh, Israelite, you Israelites, because we're in captivity, you know. But uh, like, like we were saying, a, a woman is gonna have to basically uh, uh, submit and, and be modest, and that whole hum that humility is coming back, yeah. which is beautiful. Women, women, you know, uh, uh, we enjoy it just as much as women uh, are gonna uh, like being put in their place. Absolutely, because mm -hmm. you know? we, because like I said. Uh, I'm just gonna quote it Jeremiah 6 and 2. They go into uh, Israel be like to a calmly and delicate woman. Mm -hmm. See, the most side deals with us, and we understand the relationship as a father, as, a, as, as sons, but also as a nation in general, like as a woman, you know, because you know, we, we are weaker spirits, so to speak. Even though we are made strong through Yahweh Shai, we are relatively weaker spirits. So right. he deals with us delicately, but also knows how to punch home, punch and nail that, nail that point home as well, exactly. man. So exactly. we move kind of in a similar spirit, you know. Uh, continuing on, 1 Timothy 2 and 9. Not with broided hair or gold or pearls or costly array, but which becometh the woman professing godliness. So especially for you women who proclaim to be in the truth, you know, or, or attached to a man that's in the truth, you proclaim to be a woman of you know of godliness, so to speak. So hey, let, let, uh, uh, walk what you talk, man. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. with good works. First Timothy two and eleven. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection, man. See. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection, meaning what? When the spirit moves upon your husband, 
to tell you something about yourself, you need to shut the hell up, man. All right, because like we like we understand, like you know, when, even when brothers see certain things with us in the spirit, we may not see it, but it's, it's also a spirit of how you accept that uh, uh, um, constructive criticism, man. Mm -hmm. it's, it's 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 to construct and build you up. It's not to tear you down. Even like I said, we, we have to go through a, a period of humility. You know what I'm saying? That we are, you know, pushed down. But that's to push us down to build us back up. Right. And see, we 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 we've experienced these things, but we experienced through the brotherhood. You see what I'm saying? But you haven't, y'all haven't experienced these things. You know what I'm saying? Um, and like it says, let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. Meaning what? Like I said, me personally, I don't. It ain't worth my time and energy to fight every battle, man. It gets too much stuff we deal with on, on the day to on the day right. to day. Right. Hey, that's the woman. Right. That's See, the woman going the wrong way. She's going to tell you all day she's right. And why is she justified in that? You see what I'm saying? But, like I said, when the spirit moves upon your husband to tell you certain things, it's really Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai through the Holy Spirit moving on that man to tell you certain things. Right. That's why it's really best. Like I said, when brothers tell us something about ourselves, the best thing to do is just be, be quiet. Even if you can't see it at that moment. It's, it's not always about... It's not always about how you react. A lot of times it's about how you how you take it, man. Mm -hmm. If you can take it and you just, you know, even the, even if you don't quite get it yet at that moment, trust the Holy Spirit to reveal it to you in due time. You see what I'm saying? But that goes into especially a woman uh, learning in all subjections, man, especially in those key moments, because it be key moments that the Spirit really move on a man to really uh, uh, show you, show and reveal something about yourself, man. Mm -hmm. That's right. This is uh, uh, Sarat 26 and uh, 14. It says, a silent and loving woman is a gift of the, of the Lord. And there is nothing so much worth as a mind well instructed. Yeah, because uh, you just read that uh, basically, uh, you know, women to be silent and, and under subjection under her men. It said a silent and loving woman is a gift of the Lord. Okay? So so a, a silent and loving woman is basically a, a woman that's, 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 you know, for you. And she's, she's with you, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Which a key thing, uh, and, and you know uh, the balance of it is Yahweh Shai is doing the same thing with us. But uh, uh, a key thing uh, 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 when you get with a woman is you conquer her mind. Mm -hmm. You know, and by conquering her mind, that's how you really get a woman to submit. You can you can make a because women are simple. You can make a woman do anything if you conquer her mind. You got uh, uh, you know pimps in the world that mm -hmm. conquer a woman's mind and 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 she doing. She going out and, and and selling ass on the block <laughs> for that nigga, Cause, all because he conquered her mind, you know. So, but we're gonna do that in righteousness, and 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 like the brothers keeps bringing out is you know the Yahweh Shai is doing that with us. He's conquered our mind to where to where you know we are under total submission, and we out on the we out on the streets, we out on the streets, we on the, we out on the corners. And, and you know, uh, uh, doing doing his will, doing his bidding. You know, you got something? Uh, yeah, I got uh, that's a couple verses. This, this is the last time I have. Con. This is uh, Isaiah 13. It's a few verses. It's Isaiah 13. I'm gonna start at verse 11. And I will punish. And, and as women, man, this is what you have to actually understand, man. See, we understand. We don't understand everything that's gonna happen as far as judging me. We don't understand exactly how everything's gonna look when all hell, all hell breaks loose. But we know that all hell is gonna break loose, man. I know until, until a time that we're gonna we're gonna uh, scarcely be saved if we are the elect. So keep this in your mind as well, man. You know, keep in mind that all hell gonna break loose, and you're gonna need that man in that day, man. Okay, right. but that man will not need you. That's you right. Yes. Yeah. Um, Isaiah 13 and 11. Yeah. And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity, in which we all have a, have a level of iniquity about us, man, that we need. Our Lord Yahweh Shah to uh, 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 atone for our sins, man. Through His blood, our iniquity is, is, is clean, so to speak. Through His blood and our works, you know. Um, That's right. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease, and will lay low the holiness of the terrible. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. See, you gotta keep in mind, man, that Yahweh Shai, you know, is working with the men, man. Okay, well, working through the men. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So your access point to the heavens okay is through a man especially if you have a man that's in the truth and in the ministry yep. you know what i'm saying like that's that's a big deal man like, hang on to that don't you know don't don't allow you know uh, uh pride and spirits to puff you up take it with humility same way we take the truth with humility yeah and, and just understand your role you know it's, it's nothing 
you know, wrong with being under the man, and especially a man of the Lord under righteousness. That's the best place for you to be. You know, you get taken care of physically, spiritually, you know. So, you know, we're going to deal, man. We're going to deal with our women the right way, man. The same way how shot deals with us. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. It's, it's tough, but it's fair, you know, yeah. because... That's love, man. We don't want our women being like these women in the world, man. Yeah. You know, I saw I saw a video real quick. I saw a video um, going into uh, Khabib, the UFC fighter, uh -huh. and somebody had went over there to document him doing stuff, and it was like, don't record the women. It's like, why not why don't I record the women? It's like, men over there, they just treasure their women. They don't want, you know, their women. They, they, that's why they cover up. They don't want another man to see, you know, his woman. They don't because, get the glory. Because they, they, they see value in their women. And that's why we are, are tough. All of us, we see value in you, you know what I'm saying? But we also feel like the man said, we're gonna still take care of you, you know, and we and meet your needs, so to speak. But there is a level of, 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 of strictness, man. You know, the yeah. same way you how about you now strict with us, you yeah. know. Um, last verse, yeah. Isaiah 13 13. Therefore, I will shake the heavens, and the earth shall remove out of her place, and the wrath of the Lord, you how about you now a shall post, and in the day of his fierce anger, meaning. Like I said, with all things that we've spoken about between the relationship between the man and the woman, understand that, that the, the day of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, is supposed to be approaching, man. Yep. Okay, so don't allow the little day to day, little, you know, riffraff, like cloud your vision, man. You know what I'm saying? You you are important to your man, but Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is more important to that man than you are, man. That's right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And you need to uh, uh, also understand that with this judgment coming, like, just take heed. To your man, especially if you if you see and believe and perceive that he's doing the right thing by this ministry and by the heavenly father, how about you? That's right, man. Stay down. Hey, so uh, yeah, we'll close off with that. Our Lord, when you were edified, giving all praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Kadosh. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom. Shalom.